Tonight's special segment, Cheryl and Oprah, one-on-one. -on -one. In an exclusive interview, Oprah Winfrey talks about how her show's Midwestern roots kept her connected to viewers across the country. And ABC7 Cheryl Burton is here to tell us about it. Ron and Kathy, when Oprah began her broadcasting career, she was strongly encouraged to change her name that is now synonymous with a global brand. The queen of talk stood firm, a value she says is deeply rooted in her upbringing in Kosciuszko, Mississippi. But she says it was her time spent here in Chicago that shaped her life. When I got the call to come and audition for Chicago, I started in my spirit um, singing, Chicago, Chicago. Yes, it was her kind of town, and it soon became everyone else's too. Seeing the Oprah Winfrey show in person turned into a popular tourist attraction. Oprah has fond memories living here, including filming the women of Brewster Place and the Chicago premiere of The Color Purple. She was nominated for an Academy Award for her role as Sophia. I lived and loved and played in the city. So the first couple of years, I was on Rush Street. I was playing and partying and I was going to all the stuff and, you know, I was a part of, I felt like I was a real part of the city and I, I, and I love that. Welcome to the very first National Oprah Winfrey Show! I do not think that had this show been in any other city at the time, it could have flourished the way it did. There was something very grounding, appropriate, and real about the Chicago audiences and the Midwestern community that felt like the heart of the country. The Queen of Talk was even offered double the money to take her show to another city. But she was loyal to the people she said supported her from the beginning. I'm grateful for the fact that we were right here at that particular time. And it was these people and this audience that made this happen. Oprah's affection for Chicago took her all the way to Copenhagen, offered double the money to take her show to another city. But she was loyal to the people she said supported her from the beginning. I'm grateful for the fact that we were right here at that particular time. And it was these people and this audience that made this happen. Oprah's affection for Chicago took her all the way to Copenhagen to showcase this Midwestern city. Some say she helped make a global attraction. In 2009, during the Olympic bid for the city she called the most beautiful in the world, she was part of the pitch team. And now she's being rewarded for doing it her own way. I, I do have to ask you about Chicago. Uh, You've spent half your life here. What are you going to miss most? What will I miss about Chicago? Now that will get me crying. I will miss being able to walk down the street and feel like no matter who I'm looking at, I'm looking at my hometown peeps, you know. I will miss the connection to a community that really embraced me in such a way that allowed this national platform of the Oprah Winfrey Show to become what it is. Over the years, I've had the opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with Oprah during some of the major milestones, including the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, her favorite thing show, and the opening of her school in South Africa. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna miss you. But listen, this isn't goodbye. Mm -hmm. This is come on over. Well, you'll hear more of the exclusive interview with the Queen of Talk in a half hour special tomorrow evening. Oprah looks back 25 years of the Oprah Winfrey Show. It airs right here on ABC7 at 6.30. Then at 10 o'clock, we'll talk to some famous Chicagoans who say that Oprah was the inspiration behind their career choices and how Oprah's gift of giving made an impact on their lives. Now, Kathy and Ron, this morning, Sherry Salata, the executive producer of The Oprah Show, tweeted that we were rehearsing the show, we produced the show today, and tomorrow they will be filming the final show. And I hear that the commercials are going for 30-second commercials, $1 million. It's Super Bowl stuff. Yes. More than that. <laughs>